Yes, there is very good energy in here. Very good. Can you believe people actually lived here? It's like a nursing home for fat cats. But don't worry, Charles. If we make it look fabulous, no one will ever know that it's actually crushingly insecure and older than it says it is. Good. We only have two days to transform this old house into the model home of my new gated community. Now we just need to convince Maxie Dean. If I get Maxie Dean in my corner, the investments will pour in. Charles, you're under so much stress. Relax. Now you remember what my guru also always says. Every success begins with sucks and ends with yes. Sucks, yes. We need to stop. What if Lydia walks in? Charles... Maybe we should just tell her about us. No, she's too depressed. Lydia needs someone to help her get past all this. That's why you're here. To be her, uh, what do you call yourself again? A life coach. And what does that mean? Almost anything. Hey, Dad, does this couch make me look dead? Lydia, I'm not going to answer a question like that. Lydia, we talked about this sad, saddy, sadness stuff. Do you remember what I said? Yeah, you said, stop acting so weird. I need this job. No, <laughs> no, no. I am positive I quoted my guru Otho, who says sadness is like kale salad. No one likes it. Throw it out. Dad, how long do we have to stay here? I want to go home. Well, I thought we could both use a fresh start after everything we've been through. So I'm selling our house and we're going to live here. What? Dad, no, you can't do that. Dead mom loved their house. Dead mom, Lydia. <laughs>